All right, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I am about to go and live a man's dream and go on a Home Depot shopping spree. So Dane and I, as a wedding gift, we got a lot of Home Depot gift cards. And one thing that happens when you go from living with your parents to living with your wife is that the tools that you had in your boat get left behind. Because most of them weren't mine, most of them were my dad's. So uh, we're gonna put together a complete boat toolbox kit today. Uh, combine what we buy today with what we've already got at the house. So I'm gonna run in here, knock some shopping spree out, go back, see what we've got waiting in the boat already, uh, put them together, and yeah, see if we can't get as complete of a boat toolbox as we could possibly ever need. Well, let's go. So we're about there. We've got three more things on the list, and we'll be good. Then we get to load it up. This. this thing has been here since the summertime, and every time I come to Home Depot, I'm like, I've got to go and play in the little shed thing. Look at how cool this is. I mean, if I had, oh, this is cool. TV, little couch, little sitting area, bedroom upstairs. That's all you'd ever need. That's all you'd ever need. All right, let's go look at these tools. So it's gonna be that time of year. It's early February, everybody's tournaments are getting going. Unless you're from way north and you're probably still sitting in ice and snow, but maybe you're coming out south to fish. But the last thing anybody wants to happen ever, but especially in the middle of a big tournament, is to have something go wrong and you not be able to fish because you've had something break down or something fall apart or whatever. And so this is my attempt, because I've been really guilty in the past of not having everything that I need and not knowing how everything worked. Um, so this is kind of my effort this year to keep that from happening um, as best of my ability. So we're gonna start with, we've got a freaking toolbox. Guys, if, you're, if your friends or family ever offer to throw you a tool shower, jump all over it because it's the greatest thing ever. It's a wedding shower, but guys, you just get tools. And it's phenomenal. So shout out to Mrs. Ms. Ellender Coyle, who got us a toolbox. We're gonna load it up with some good stuff today. But here is, as best as I can tell, the best boat kit toolbox thing you could have. And assortment of things. Now I'm sure I'm gonna miss stuff, so if I do miss stuff, let me know what I forgot in the comments. And I'll, by the time this is over, I probably will have thought of things that I forgot. So, we'll start with the most basic thing of all that you should have, not just in every boat, but in every car and in every house and in every everywhere. Zip ties. You gotta have zip ties. You use them all the time. I got the multicolored ones because I thought they were cool. And I don't know, maybe you, you at some point will have to color code something with your zip ties. And you can do it with those. We got blue, yellow, orange, pink. Perfect. Alright, zip ties. Simple enough. As far as tools, screwdrivers, yes, of course screwdrivers. Flatheads and Phillips, different sizes. I've got a whole new set at my and Dana's house. Uh, my boat stays at my parents' house still. Uh, we don't have the space for it. We only live about five minutes away, but we've got all my screwdrivers over there. They'll get added to the toolbox. Uh, so that is a 100%. Of course, you have to have them. I just don't have them here. So moving on. Another basic one, box cutters. Uh, just grabbed this one today. This is one that, again, like, like a lot of this stuff, stuff that I may have had in the boat in the past, but it was dad's. And, you know, we're, <laughs> they say you get married and you get a job. It means you're growing up, so we'll see about that. But you at least gotta have your own box cutter. So box cutter, some spare blades in the handle. Uh, must have, used that quite a bit. Uh, let's see, you've got that right there, those pliers. Now I'm gonna be honest, I use this, I, I use this stuff, I know what they are. There's gonna be some of these names that I would get mixed up if I try to say it. So these pliers, maybe call them, I don't know. Is it a channel lock? Is it? vice grip pliers, I, I don't know. Make fun of me in the comments for not knowing what they are. I don't care, but I know how to use them and I know how they work. That's really all that matters. So got me another new set of those. That's right, so next on the list, a little mini hex set. When I was rigging the graphs this year, of course this is the first time I'd really rigged everything completely by myself. I realized there's a lot of stuff that has got to come apart or come loose in here that's got hex screws. So that I just mean require that type of a head. So that stuff I had to borrow from the golf course uh, where I worked in the summer because I didn't have them. So, got a little mini hex set there. Got these right here. 
the lock and pliers, of course that's something useful for a million different things. So we've got a new set of those jaw lock pliers. Uh, we've got a, couple, a lot of different wrenches. We've got just the regular good old adjustable wrench right here. And we've also got, I didn't even take this one out of the bag, a little wrench set. Um, and these were cool, uh, uh, call them a stubby wrench set. That you got a lot more tight quarters in a boat than you do a lot of other things and places where, at least I think, where you're gonna need a wrench. So I like the little short wrench idea, uh, getting in there around the batteries. You need those, you got them. So adjustable wrench, I tend to use the adjustable wrench more than I do the actual fixed ones, but got both, gotta be prepared. We gotta be prepared, all right? Uh, you've got, went ahead and just bought a big time, just a, a big socket set. 75 piece mechanics tool set. Not a mechanic, but I'm trying to be. So, uh, at least what I need to be. But it's got all sorts of stuff. It's got quarter inch and three eighth inch sockets. It's got some more of those little hex screws and torque screws and all kinds of good stuff. It's even got a little Allen, Allen wrench uh, set in there, which I also bought separately. Because until just now, when I looked at this a little closer, I didn't realize this had some Allen wrenches, but you never have too many. You never have too many of anything. I feel like tools are like fishing rods. You, if, if you think you've got too many, you're only getting started. So, anyways, and Dana, we are. Because a lot of this stuff, if I'm not using it in the boat, I'm going to be using it in the house. So, good little socket, screwdriver set. And then, what always bites me more than anything else, uh, electrical issues, fuses. And what this applies to the truck and the boat. Uh, but got two different sets, two different fuse kits, ATM and ATC, the small fuses, which code word for small fuses and big fuses, two kits of those because I, most of the time on a couple different vehicles I've had to replace when uh, the trailer, one of the trailer lot fuses will blow and go out because a wire's exposed and rubbing on the trailer or something and popping the fuse. Another thing, the latest thing I've had to use the socket sets for was James River um, running back in on a practice day and realized my power pole bracket had gotten loose. And one of my power poles was actually sliding down the bracket, which is never good. And had some sockets, but didn't have the right size socket and had to borrow them. Like, you can't be doing that. So we got that fixed. But anyways, back to the electrical topic. A lot of other things I realized I needed when I was rigging those graphs up. Butt splices, more butt splices. These are for 16 to 14 and then 12 to 10. We've got some ring terminals, three different sizes. Pretty cheap to buy a kit of those. So I bought three. Heat shrink tubing, a couple packs of heat shrink tubing, and some wire strippers because that's something I actually have a little bit of electrical knowledge. Uh, I, I was this close, it's this close to going into electrical work right out of high school. And if it hadn't been for, really, if it hadn't been for Rob Giarla and Bentley Manning getting Tennessee Tech in the news for making the college classic bracket, then I would have been even more likely, I would have more likely have gone into electrical out of high school. Uh, because I thought that if I go into electrical, start making money right out the, right out of the gate, I'm going to be able to save up money and fish full time or make a run at fishing, you know, the coasters or the opens, I don't even know what they were, then they probably ever start still. Uh, then if I went to school, but the college fishing thing was really taking off and thank goodness I did what I did going and fishing at Tennessee Tech for four years because I realized just how much I didn't know and how much I still needed to learn. But so a little bit of electrical knowledge that I can put to use when needed. Uh, of course you never want to, but it's always good when you do. So some electrical strippers. Um, let's see, so spare batteries for stuff like scales, um, and I'm going to keep this, this is going to go right in the very top of this toolbox. This toolbox is, is too big to go in my back compartment, so I'm going to put it up here with some of my clothes and some extra like uh, tackle totes in this, this right rod box, uh, which is going to be right in front of where I keep both of my digital scales. I keep one in here as a spare, uh, but the Rapala scale is the one that I like the best. And, and if I ever grab it and it needs batteries, I'll be right on the top and I can get to them pretty quick. Uh, so anyways, keep some spare batteries for anything in the boat that takes batteries. Got some flares to throw in the toolbox. Should we ever need them? Never needed flares. Wouldn't mind to shoot one off just for fun, but probably not supposed to do that. 
Uh, we've got, obviously we have a ton of pliers in the boat, needle nose, um, pairs of scissors. This is actually a really, really good pair of scissors right here um, that a gentleman gave me at the BFL Super on Chickamauga last year. He was staying at the same place we were. I'm trying to get a claws, C-L-A-U-S-S. Scissors, they're phenomenal. They're the best braid scissors I've found yet. He gave us all a pair of those, and then just other little. Again, don't make fun of me for not calling these by the right name. I call them just like little bitty tiny wire cutters, but whatever pliers they are, good to have a pair of those too. And then I've saved the best for last. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. I've got a first aid kit that I keep in the boat, because uh, that's something that you'll definitely need more than something like the flares. So keep the first aid kit. Uh, but here's the best thing that I've got. And I know I, most people I know don't have this in the boat and it has saved my butt half a dozen times. A sucker like this right here. So dad's kept one um, in the boat for a while. It saved us in college some, but it's a jump starter. It's got an air compressor. It's got USB ports you can plug up to. You just plug it up to the electrical outlet. It charges it so you can jump off a boat battery. You can jump off a truck battery. Um, you can charge your phone. And I do a lot of sleeping in the truck at campsites just to save money most of the time, especially if it's like an out-of-state trip. And in the back of that truck, when I've got the camper top on it, because I don't have any way to charge the phone. So being able to just pull this in there, plug the phone up into the little battery charger, have it run into an extension cord, you're not going to burn the battery off of it. Don't worry if you need to jump it off the next day. That's a phenomenal little tool to have. It's pretty small. It's about the size of a gallon of milk. And I'll stick that in that back box. And you don't need it very often, but when you do, you are dang glad you've got it. So this one is a Vector. The, I can't remember the name of the brand we've had before, the one that I had in the boat in college. John Barry and I, who I'll be fishing the Morristowns with this year, we actually went out knowing I had a bad cranking battery, that it was it was dying, it needed it was in the last leg of life. And I took the little battery charger and we fished all night. We fished a like I, I don't, I don't even think it was a term. I think we just fun fished, seven to seven, and every time we went to move, we jumped it off. And about six thirty in the morning, we went to jump it off, and it barely turned over and fired. And we're like, all right, that's our that's our signal. We've got to go to the lake. So let me get all this loaded up. We'll zip through that. It's kind of like a tackle box. You get a new tackle, and you get excited about organizing it and then putting it how you want it. That's what I'm about to do with this. Oh. And a flashlight. Um, I actually just have one on my phone that I typically use, but I just opened this up and the Lazy Church threw a couple of little goodies in the toolbox as well. So, flashlight. Oh, there's my AirPods case. It's probably already in the boat and I just forgot to add to it. Like electrical tape. Of course you've got to have electrical tape. So, uh, I have some. I'm looking at it. It's right there. It's a magnet. Ooh, that's cool. Dang, that's a good magnet too. Ah, sweet. Here's another one nuts that are the same size as the ones that go on your battery posts because if you're ever chaining something out and you drop one down there in the middle of the boat well or in the middle of that back compartment it's going to take you forever and i'd be remiss to not remind you all of toilet paper in a plastic baggie because the only thing worse than not having toilet paper is trying to wipe with wet toilet paper so keep that back there might actually throw it in the toolbox and a long tie off rope you're putting in or fishing by yourself, you're gonna need a long tie up rope. And some of these things are not necessarily toolbox things, but I hate for somebody to be sitting there thinking, how oh, you got all that crap and ain't got a rope? What do you mean ain't got no rope? I do have a rope. It just doesn't go in the toolbox, but very necessary. You gotta have the bucket hats. You never have, it's always bucket hat season, even if it's February. All right, so there you go. That's the toolbox. I'm sure I've forgotten some things. Uh, I told you a couple things that I forgot that, that are already in the boat that I didn't show you, but whatever I forgot, throw it in the comments, let me know. Um, 
anything you're just like, I can't believe that you can live without that because I probably haven't thought about it yet. But maybe there's something you saw that you're like, ah, yeah, I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. I'll throw one in there. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. A different type of video for us today, but maybe we'll have some more things like this coming on the channel. Who knows? Regardless, I appreciate you checking it out. Uh, if you enjoyed it, press subscribe. Uh, we'll be back to fishing in no time. So thanks for checking out the channel. See you all next time. Have a good day. Yeah.